What we do is we polish and lap, hone, surface grind, and diamond machine things to uh, very, very fine finishes and very close dimensions. Good afternoon, my name is Stan Lisiak. I'm a process development engineer at Cabot uh, Microelectronics, specifically the surface finishes division. Each, each one of these are a little different. The honing process is for doing the inside of pipes and cylinders and so forth. It can be a blind hole, it can be a through hole. On that material, uh, that type of device, we can go anywhere from things that are half inch in diameter to 48 inches in diameter, up to 40 feet long. Optical polishing is uh, polishing any type of optical surface to a surface roughness that has no scratches in it and uh, surface roughness under typically under 25 angstroms. Diamond machining, we use a single point diamond tool in a fly cutting operation to create high precision and very, very specular mirrors. This is a 6061 T6 aluminum mirror as it's been run off of the diamond machine. So this has not been polished or anything, just right off of the diamond machine. This is a cylindrical air bearing, anodized aluminum. Purpose of this is to uh, spin and with uh, very little drag. Um, it's kind of an entertaining device because it moves pretty quickly. Take my finger off the bottom and it drops. So there's no slop in this at all. Very, very tight in the millionths of an inch range. This is a 316 stainless surgical mirror. Uh, we don't actually make the mirror or make the tool itself. What we do is polish the end of it. So we polish the very end of this. This is for doing surgery in your ear. This is a gold-plated copper heat sink used for mounting laser LEDs for the communication industry. We diamond fly cut this in order to make the surfaces square to each other and make it flat. And then uh, we send it out to have it gold coated and then do the measurements on it. So what we have here is a device for measuring flatness. It's a device that's very simple to use on the production floor. So you don't need to spend a lot of money on an interferometer in order to measure flatness for production purposes. Something that operators can take on the floor, do a quick measurement, and measure down to 10 millionths of an inch or a half wave. We make these. The cost of this device is under $10,000 with a 10 inch optical flat. A laser interferometer is a $200,000 piece of equipment. You might do that for final measurement, but it's slow and it's time consuming and it has to be in an enclosed environment. We can run it here, out on the production floor, and not have to have that requirement. See us and other quality suppliers at d2p.com.